Narinder, the one who waits. All of the bishops have been defeated, all that's left is to open the gate and bring forth the one who waits yourself. The afterlife is a lot cleaner than one would think. Narinder gives you a choice, kneel at his paws and be sacrificed, or betray the one that saved you from your end at the hands of the bishops and save your cultists. The choice is quite simple. Narinder's disciples are angered at your betrayal of their master, attacking you. Bal is the first to fall, angered by the loss of his brother, Aim now fights you as well. Sadly for them, they are still only mortals and couldn't hope to challenge you. Narinder now comes to claim the Red Crown himself. His attacks are mostly the same ones that Aim and Bal used, if more powerful, but in the end, he's just another god that will fall by your hand. You've hurt the god of death, but he's not out of it yet, tearing you down into the deepest recesses of the afterlife. His eyes pop out to battle you for him. You destroy one of his eyes, angering him, but also severely weakening the death god. Your determination pays off as another eyeball falls. With the last eye destroyed, nothing stops you from finishing him off now. Only one question remains. Will this be the end 